is your sundial, intact as it was. Mr. Mordevy, can we have the test results? Simply put, it's hollow. Here, try tapping on it. It sounds different from a solid object. It's not just a timekeeping tool. It's an intricate mortise and tenon puzzle box. This sundial is hollow with an inner compartment. We scanned it, and there's a small paper scroll inside. However, it's missing a crucial component. We should be able to spin the wheels on the sundial once the right component is installed. But the foundational theories behind these applied technologies are quite similar. It wouldn't have taken me this long if we were dealing with tacitite weapons. Install the missing part, then rotate the wheels to their correct positions, and you should be able to solve the puzzle and access the paper scroll. However, I still have no idea what the missing component should look like. And no need to ask him. I can help you with this. I just need some time to think it over. Uh, one moment. I have an incoming call. Mm. What is it? You certainly are well informed. It's indeed beautiful data. Good taste. Well, since you've put it that way... Rover. Mr. Mortify's expression seems to have softened, don't you think? An amiable person, isn't he? We haven't even asked him to help us with assembling. It looks like Mr. Mortify needs more time. Maybe we should give him some space to concentrate. Rover, let's come back later, shall we? Hmm. Yes, of course. I've already noticed all that you mentioned. Indeed, you just pointed out a blind spot in my thinking. Your workshop? That hellish place? <laughs> Stop sweet-talking me. I get it. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. Let's get back to the sundial. It's a mortise and tenon-based puzzle box. The missing component in the middle needs to fulfill two entirely different structural requirements at the same time. Considering its entire structure, this component needs an automatic buckle that goes down on top of an embedded pointer. I'll drop a design for you. The parts you'll need can be found in Zhang Li's workshop. I've already informed him about it. You'll only need to go fetch the parts in his place. He keeps a vision of labor is more efficient in getting things done. Besides, I would like to avoid stepping foot in Jiang Li's workshop ever again. The mere thought of that place brings me migraines. Peril. I see. Shall we go and retrieve the parts now, Rover? I mentally prepared myself for the worst, but this place looks... Much better than Mr. Mortify's description. Though it is a bit hard to figure out where we should start. This should be it. It's quite a boxful. Let's go back and show it to Mr. Mortify. Good. Bring it to me. The test results are in. The mangosteen is just an ordinary fruit. It's suitable for regular consumption. We found nothing unusual about it. From the purple leaf you presented, I detected subtle fluctuations in tacit discord's frequency from two distinct sources, but they were overlapping and difficult to distinguish. This is a rare occurrence. The scattered nature of these fluctuations rules out the possibility of them being left behind through contact. This is not an ordinary leaf, but it doesn't seem to be a tacit discord either. Based on the data we gathered, I believe it was sampled from an area struck with the wave-worn phenomena. Yes, the anomalies that occurred after the lament 
including the formation of tacit fields, etheric sea, retroact rain, and gravity loss. These are collectively called the wave-worn phenomena. And the lament was the start of it all. As for the sugar pearl, it has been determined to be a type of oral vaccine. This sugar pearl expired over 20 years ago. The low temperature storage life for this vaccine is about two years. A 20-year-old vaccine. Hmm. Could it be related to the children's epidemic in Zhenzhou two decades ago? The archives in the academy should have information on the sugar pearl. The archives here are organized in a unique way. You can start by searching the keywords at the lobby terminal. Mr. Mortify? The missing pointer has been installed, and now the sundial should be complete. So, the discs are rotatable now? Yes. Align the correct markers with the pointer we just installed, and then you should be able to open it. I'm back! I'm back! Finally done with my patrol! How's it going, Rover? Feeling spry as ever? Baiju said he is in great health. No issues to report. We made some progress in investigating the tokens, too. Ah, nothing special. A typical patrol. Well, Uncle Jang's cat climbed a tree, and on its way down, it landed on Uncle Chumpy's hat, causing him to take a tumble. Some dogs kept barking and have been scaring the passers-by, so I went there to calm them down. I received a report about someone going missing. I just locked the case and talked to the person who reported it. You're not the one they're searching for, though. Anyhow, I need to visit the person who reported the case tomorrow. Oh, I also tried searching for Rover's terminal number, but the system came up with nothing. The latest record was from today when I took Rover for registration. That's pretty much the update for now. Huh? Are you not going to investigate the tokens? All right, I still owe you a meal. The night markets are closed, though. Let's grab breakfast at Panhua's restaurant tomorrow before my shift. Meet you guys there in the morning. Be there or be square. Time to hit the hay, obviously. Don't tell me you're planning on some nightly activities. What? You're hanging out with our magistrate already? Quit bluffing! Do you have a place to stay, Rover? Talk about hospitality! All right, enough chatter or the sun's gonna come up. Let's get Rover back to the city hall, and we'll leave the rest till tomorrow. spicy noodles in the morning. What do you say, Rover? Looks like Beiger's locked herself in the lab again. Hasn't left since yesterday. Bet we won't see her till she's done with her research. No, wait. Since you're the subject of that research, we could use you as bait to lure her out. We can tie you up at the Academy's entrance. And with just a few tucks of the rope, I bet every researcher will come running at you with Beiger leading the pack. By the way, now that we figured out the sugar pearl and the sundial, all that's left is that weird leaf and run-of-the-mill mangosteen, right? So it only took us one trip to the Academy to solve half of our problems. Either Rover's really smart, or Madam Magistrate was gonna make it easy for us to begin with. What's our next plan of action, Rover? As for the mangosteen, we got people selling these at the market nearby. You might find some mangosteens are not from Jinjo. 
These fruits are usually brought in by boat. Should we start? Do you think the token is guiding us outside the city? That's the spirit. Been beating my brain up until now. It's time to get these joints cracking for a change. She's fast! She's furious! She's a TD-killing machine! Oh, please stop it, you two. It's a no-go for me if you're leaving the city. My shift's coming up. Protect Rover well, and shoot me a message if you need anything, all right, Yang Yang? I believe in you! Without a doubt. can boost our combat abilities if you feel like it. Head to Instructor Yan at the training camp for extra practice and to get these enhancement items. Field of expertise. I hit back tenfold. <laughs> 